Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, the second uh, motor controller uh, for the little um, vehicle we're making. The first motor controller is already on the breadboard and the second motor controller is really just a copy of that. We'll need another uh, TIP122 transistor, uh, a diode and a resistor plus some, uh, some hookup wires to uh, make the second controller. Um, and all I really have to do is copy the existing one. Um, so I'm going to put the, the transistor in first. They're quite tricky to uh, insert these transistors without bending the pins. So you have to push a little bit, but not too much. Uh, and make sure it's the same way round as the first one. The first pin of the transistor is connected to the ground connection on the Arduino, and that already uh, is connected to the first controller via this brown cable. So I'm just going to use a, a hookup cable to bring that ground connection across to the second uh, transistor. So I'm going to, going to plug it into the um, connection next to the, drown, the, the ground cable on the, on the first motor controller and plug it in the same row as the first pin of the transistor. Okay, the second uh, pin of the uh, transistor is connected to the diode, uh, which on the first motor controller is here. I've got my second diode here. Again, I have to make sure I insert it the right way round with the little silver mark up this end. Uh, and I plug that in exactly the same place as I've got it on my first motor controller. And uh, again, a little bit of pressure to force it into the little clips on the breadboard and um, I'm going to use uh, another uh, hookup wire to um, connect up the second pin of the transistor. So I'm going to push that in the same row as the second pin of the transistor and then the same row as the diode. Yeah, so that connects the diode up and then the third pin of the transistor is the one uh, that goes via the resistor to uh, one of the uh, Arduino um, output uh, connections. We're going to actually connect it to pin uh, 9 because the other controller is on pin 10. So I'm going to push this resistor again in the same uh, row as the on the breadboard as the third pin on the transistor. and then um, use another hookup wire to connect the other end of the resistor up to the uh, Arduino pin, uh, pin 9. The final uh, connections I need to make are to the motor uh, itself. Now these two wires here, not connected at the moment, go from the first motor controller to the um, first motor, so I'll take another a uh, pair of um, hookup wires and um, plug those into the to the breadboard. These goes either side of the diode um, that we put in earlier. Um, let me do that one with a, a blue pin, the blue hookup wire at that side, and a brown one at this side. Yeah, so these will be connected up to the motor when we. Um, wire the whole thing up. And finally the 3.3 um, volts we need for the, the motor uh, it comes to the first motor controller via this red wire from the 3.3 volt output of the Arduino. So um, again I'm going to plug that in right next to that in the same row and uh, bring that next to the plug that in next to the um, diode. Okay, so uh, these two wires will go to the second motor, these two wires will go to the first motor. Um, the red wire goes to the 3.3 volts, it's already connected there. The brown wire is the ground wire, and the two yellow wires connect via the resistor to the uh, outputs, uh, outputs 9 and 10 on the uh, Arduino itself. Okay.